What's happening, beautiful gamers? Blank here, and welcome back to another episode of Sons of Aura. And today, I want to start the episode by showing you guys something interesting. So, look at our set, it's super level 12, everything has been improved. We are wearing the set of the boss that we defeated previously, and we changed the runes to be health runes, armor runes, and then some armor penetration, giving us a pretty nice bonus of 36 penetration and things like that. Now, there are some quests that we need to take care of, which we will do. Once we go back, we need to speak with Seldom and we need to speak with Lawrence. But I want to show you guys what did I do to be able to get this powerful. Because if you guys take a look at my map, I haven't gone to any other cities, any other towns. Honestly speaking, once again, I enjoy the game. So sometimes I just want to do some farming and things like that to make sure that the adventure is smooth. In this area, if you run towards these guys, you go ahead, you hit them. You kill these guys, let the little fella call the other two, so that way you don't have to actually go walk towards them. You kill them all, and every single run will give you between 400, well, 390 and 500 essences. Then all you need to do is hit on the bell, and after doing that, the enemies just respawn, and that round takes like 30 seconds. So it's pretty quick, it's pretty straightforward, it's pretty nice if you have a strong weapon that can kill enemies fast, and enemies are not difficult. Once you do that, then you might wonder, okay, how did you get the materials to level it up? Well, do you guys remember the item that we got for Galinda? I'll show you guys what she sells now. So let's see that. So once, I mean, what I would suggest is that every like three minutes or four minutes, you go back in here and you run all the way to the top so you can speak with uh, Galinda. That way, once you, once you have that conversation, she kind of like restocks her inventory. Now... That matters a lot, because what she sells now is mm -mm -mm, delicious. Of course, Come take a look. You, you speak with her and you see that, oh, well, actually, we should buy it if we can, yep, so we can have them in mind. She sells these little fellas and she sells these ones too. She sells them in batches of 10 and 4, and then she sells 3 blue runes and 3 green runes, it's always the same. You just buy them, break them, break them, break them. I spend a lot of time farming, that's why. I have so much, but just wanted to take the chance for you guys to see exactly what is it that we have, and it, now we're pretty strong, so the adventure should be seamless. Anyways, now we have to speak with him so we can deliver the broken, these little things, I believe, the, the fracture sigil left and right, and then we need to speak with Lawrence after the fact, so what's up, buddy? Give him the sigil. The impression of the fragments is palpable to the air, seldom approaching you slowly, extends his hands above and lets them linger as if warming them before a fire. He takes the pieces, turning his back to you, despite his bandaged eyes, the wrong hammers and coarses brushes which surrounds his workbench all seems to be extensions of his body. He works with both grace and fury. A small golem preach at seldom's side springs to life. You have done well, cleansing knight. Another sigil brings us closer to a world reborn. You should be proud. I am proud. Can you see that I stole the armor of the knights that I defeated? Sheldon steps before the gold knight and presses his free hand upon his head. Returning to you, he extends a sigil which appears to have never been broken. A haze of shaved stone lingers behind him. I see. Yes. Yes. I agree with Seldom. There is an oddity about you, Knight. One which was not present before. Well, I mean, I encounter Maveth at Riddick Stronghold, if that's what you're asking me. And the Corruption told you his name, did he? What of the spirit from before? The Corruption which fled from within Ubani? Has it been dealt with? I haven't seen it. Ah. Ah, he knows what's up. When tending to my grotto, I've learned not to linger on flowers born from weeds. Should they not be plucked, you risk vicious weeds as far as the eye can see. But I've no reason not to trust a knight. You got it. You got it. Trust me. Blindly, I'll be okay. The gun that turns slightly, its movements are rich as if its bodies move without consent. Seldom, the orb. Okay, give it to me. From within its cloak, Seldon produces a wrapping of metal cloth. He peeks back at the section of the cloth to reveal a pale, loosened orb. With a gentle breath, he stands it to your direction. Oh, look into the orb. Peeking into the orb, you can watch shot the sense upon a distant figure. Quickly, figures become two, then ten, then twenty, and Jesus Christ, give me the orb. 
Go now, deliver the orb to Mentis. It will aid him in combating corruption within the dunes and will ensure our path to the next sigil. Ah, uh, okay. So, deliver the orb to Mentis. It will aid him in combating corruption within the dunes and will ensure our path to the next sigil. Who the, who's Mentis? I forgot. The god now turns against, again slightly and its eyes begin to lose illumination. Now I have other matters to address. Please, Knight, do what you were made to do. Sure. Bye. So that's pretty much it. And now we have that quest and we have to figure out exactly what's happening. Because now he wants me to go to Mentes. I do not know who's Mentes. I do not know where is Mentes. So we're going to have to figure it out. We know that this is not... Uh, uh, so well, we're gonna have to figure that out, but hey, in the meantime, we have something to give to Lawrence. So let's go inside. Let's see what's up. Ah, uh, no, look here. What's up? The elixir. Galina. Have you brought it? Craking Tannen, the fool. Should have known better than to have you chase some rumor. There are many markets, or perhaps other settlements even. Our focus should have been elsewhere, on anything else. Galena, take it easy, breathe in and out, chill the fuck out. You craking knights, pretending your courage doesn't have a cost for the rest of us. You haven't done, you haven't done a single shit for this place. All you do is complain and pretend that you give a fuck about others. So shut the fuck up, let me do my job, and if you don't like it, get out of the house. Anyways, I'm sorry. I should have calmed down. She pissed me off for a sec. Okay. I am sorry, Knight. There are so many paths, yet they all lead me helplessly here. Ah, I figured you'd say something like that. You better be sorry. Useless piece of shit. Running her hands together, she looks over your shoulder at something across the room. It's all right, Galina. I found the elixir. Lysus, forgive me. I shouldn't have doubted you. It's a horrible thing, all of this. The days have run together and I... Well, it doesn't matter. This wretched elixir. Is there anything I should know? Well... Yeah. Then it really is over. The last ember to be drowned in sickened runoff. I need a moment, Knight. I have to sit down. Sit down? Disappear? Get out of here? I don't care. Just, if it comes to it, remember your duty extends even here, Knight. Painful as it may be, Lawrence deserves peace. I don't want to give you your word. I don't want... I want to leave this shit town. Anyways, we have to figure out how to heal them, right? So let's speak with Lawrence. Let's purify the leaks here and be fine. Oh, what is that? Is that an item? No. Can I get Lawrence's armor? You could have spared her, you know. Sometimes it's nice to pretend faces in the clouds are real. If only for a moment. Shut the fuck up, Ara. All right. Give me the segment of the flare. Here you go. The strength of the sewer flare floats before her as she closes her eyes and extends her hand. It's just like the petals of a flower. You don't have to force it. Sure. I don't know why would you force petals of a flower, but sure. The filaments of the blinded crystal flake away, exposing a bright and blue flame. Aura gives a small potion, portion from the rest. The elixir. Hold it out and don't move. Sure. The air in the room goes cold with closed eyes. Aura strains against the weight of something, her face twisting with effort. No, it's not true. I don't want any of this. What are you even seeing? The separated potion becomes a shaky, a snaking thread of flame. As Aura lowers gently to the vial, light breaks beneath the surface and puts shadow along the walls. The fragile ga glass oscillates between boiling and freezing against your fingers. Now, make sure he drinks all of it. Here you go, chuck it in! Chuck it in! Chuck it in! Chuck, 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 chuck! His body rebels, he fights you, his limbs fell in nothing until he scales back further. Make it chuck, yes! The. <coughs> mist. Pain fills his face until finally the elixir is gone. There you go, chucked it out. Their faces. I can still see them. I don't really care. If, if you're not gonna, gonna give me anything, then I have nothing to do with you here. I'm gone. Poor Moro transformed almost instantly, remember? I don't want us to get ahead of ourselves. 
but the elixir might have worked. Nice. There were whispers all around me. They were inside my head and they said horrible, terrible things. Things they claimed I wanted, but I promise I would never. I don't know how Cathexis managed as long as he did. Sure, we can go. Are you going to disappear on me? Beautiful. So this has been done. We cannot speak with this guy anymore. I can step on him though, which is great. And now I guess... What is this? They say the Ferrum are hollow within their armor. That they are made of mana that courses through the world. Maybe that's why I feel connected to them. Great job. That's fantastic. And then with that done, we have this thing to deliver right now. And then... I don't see anything mission-like. But we spoke, we did what we needed to do. Now we have to do the... Uh, now we have to deliver this little thing, I believe. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We gotta go to the Nexus below and see what's up. Galina is here. We don't really care about her. And then just, just making sure my room is still clean. Yeah! Because this lady, mm -hmm, she sucks. Perhaps I've been too hard on you both. Your route is not an easy one. Sacrifice after sacrifice, always giving. But Lawrence has already offered so much, and I am kept awake thinking that maybe there's a part of him that actually wants to. Well, that's enough of that. Come, do not spare me, Knight. Yeah, I think it's everything is fine, and if you are into Lawrence, you can go give him the cheeky cheeky. You should be okay. She peers around the room of a house looking for a wall to wall. From wall to wall. Ah, how little it takes for the color to return to a room. That is good to hear, Knight. Starspire is forever grateful. I'm glad that Starspire is something. Did you give me anything? No, of course. Why would you care about giving me something? Piece of shit. <laughs> Let's get out. Uh, honestly, that's another quest successfully completed. So with that done, maybe after all of that talking, I think... Let's see. Come take a yep, you guys see exactly what I mean? She just restocks them. Like, she just keeps sending them your way. And she just keeps giving them to you. So, it's a like good opportunity for you to just get them. My and after that, we gotta go down. We gotta go to the Nexus. And we gotta deliver the... Uh, the second sigil. To see what type of conversation are we gonna have down there. Anyways, let's figure that out. These guys are cool. By the way, I cannot upgrade my weapons even further. Like, I cannot go further just because... To get them further leveled up, you need some tools that you need to give to the smiths. They're kind of useless. Not. Wrong place! What am I doing here? No! Wish there was a way to walk faster. Anyways, let's go this way. Alright, so from here, we're just gonna be going around. And all the way. What is this? Alright, oh, that's to call the elevator in case. Sure. Now, we know that we activated one. We don't. We probably don't need to go inside of them. I wonder if at some point we have to go inside of them again. It seems like there's only three that we need to trigger. So is the second one going here or in the middle? Oh no, it's there. Let's go. Can I ask you a question? I don't have time for you, Aura. Sure. Why do you invite so many outsiders to Starspire? Why do you even care? The Ferrum, the Alchemist. It's like putting a candle beside a stack of papers. And, um, yeah, what if the candle is just better? But you would move it when you left. You would extinguish it to be sure. Aura, this is why you didn't have friends. But there's still a chance that everything burns. How do you know? How do you keep it safe? I'll just keep... I just kill whoever gets in my way. Duh. But you don't understand. I have my own... Besides, you could have done it without me. Dude, you are such a freaking narcissistic bastard. Come on, Ara. I guess you're right. Let's go. Such a narcissistic bitch. Jesus. Okay, so that's the second one. And then there's just one last that we gotta trigger. Anyways, with that done, can we go inside? Yeah. The spirits from before. There's not even an echo of them. Because I killed them all. A bystone. A bison accord. Anyways, we're back in the darkness, so it's time to get moving. 
any enemies that can come away, I'll just kill them. There's no confusion, no desire, or comfort. It's all just hollow. And all because of... Because of? She turns the gay... Oh, Mentis! Is it Mentis? He clings tighter, but the threads binding this place are snapping. Okay. The fraying. Can you feel it? I didn't know this would happen. Oh, Mentes is the guy with multiple arms. Aura, we have to cross that gap. As if shaking herself free of something, she peers first to you, then towards the relic, the runic pylon. If you listen, you can hear it. Like slow moving water. Or the wind over sand. The pylons resonate with it. Mana imbued into the stone. Maybe I can borrow some and teleport us across. Oh, let's go. What do you need me to do? I need time to channel energy from the pylon. The barrier will weaken as I draw from it and the depraved. I'll fuck him up. So now we just gotta hold on to this. Whoa, what the fuck, yo? He just yeeted this way. What the? But the damage that you guys do is nothing. I promise I won't. Yo, these guys are strong. It's a good thing that we leveled up. Bye. You can trust us. Stop it, Aura. I don't wanna. Oh my God! See, this is this is this is exactly why you needed to level up because the enemies here are just yeeting. Thank you. Now, just to focus on me. Let's go. I think we did it. Well, I mean, to be fair, enemies didn't really stand a chance against me in that area. We did a pretty good job. Why is Sara just standing there? Same place? She keeps her back to you, her focus pouring over the grave ruins along the An wall. Extended hand. A cry in the darkness. You did it, didn't you? His voice echoed through the fissure. I tried to block it out, but I couldn't. You can see them, right? His words in the stone. He is here. The guy with the multiple arms? Following our footsteps in the sand. How do we leave this place? The summit. I've seen it. I can teleport us there. Um, I can kill the guy too if you want us. Just send me over his way. The source of their conflict lies at the temple. If I focus on that, I can get us there. Sure, I got your back. Was it worth it? Uh, this is this is what I mean. These guys they hit hard. So my guess is that you need to like stand what here choice was there? and just wait for them to like someone. And they still have a lot of attacks that do a lot of damage. I need to heal. Yeah, no, I need to heal soon. Let's go. And the good thing is that you don't care about healing because if you overheal, you just gain an extra health. So, pretty strong armor, if I gotta be honest. Pretty strong armor. Oh, what the fuck? This is an army. Oh, yo, that's fucking rude. Aura, what the fuck? You said you were gonna. So long, this was all there was a world of shadows and walls. I always believed they were impenetrable, that they could never fall. So what happened next? I ran away, flew until there was nothing left. I promised myself I wouldn't stop until I couldn't see them anymore. Sure. She draws her guests upon the barriers, blocking entrance into the temple. And for so long, I thought it would be different. I thought they were only down here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but then they were everywhere. But even if you can't see them, they're there, keeping people out, keeping them isolated. Okay, sure. I'm listening. She extends her arms to the barrier. I should have realized a long time ago running doesn't do any good. That walls can only be knocked down. Sure. Destroy them. You want me to do it for you? Hmm. Cannot break it. I can kill these guys though. Oh, so you're saying that you're gonna have to destroy the walls for me? Why are we even here? I do not know. You tell me. Why are you here? I'll kill all the enemies that are on the way. Striving only to be spurned. Only to be turned away. 
You guys cannot really kill me. You guys cannot really think that you guys are gonna kill me, right? Aura, it's now or never. Just try a little bit harder. You can do this. I believe in you. Please, please, come on. Yeah, yep. Yeah. You see my you see my that you're taking a poop. Focus. That's all you need to do. Focus. Sometimes it's just tough, but you just have to focus enough and it's gonna it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. There you go. Good girl. Add a girl. But I didn't. I couldn't do it. So who did it then? And I cannot talk to you. Okay, yeah, you were useless. So I'll just find somebody else. Oh, hello. What's up, buddy? I was content to watch you break upon this pinnacle. To relish in that delicious realization of limitation. Yet what boldness is privilege to the desperate. To stand before me in such a form. You drape yourself in delusion, child. Okay. It seems we have that in common. But for all your power, for all your presence, your hands still tremble. How much longer until... Until he uses all of those hands to fuck you up, Ara? I don't know, because you seem weak. <laughs> Calm down. Yep, I told you, she spoke too much. The orb in your custody makes you held of reconciliation long past. Now come. I know you seek passage into the holy city. Yep, I'll go there. I'll be your friend. I mean, once I say, once again, I don't really care about her. So if you got rid of Aura, that's fine. Now be my friend. To be consigned to such a trivial application. The Chrysum Orb wilts in the custody of your order. Its return to my domain can only mean you seek to rescind the deal between us. You wanna make a deal? Sure, I mean, I guess it's not a deal between us, but between you and... Uh, whatever, you have a deal, what's the deal with this? The barrier around is your law endures through perpetuity. It keeps fettered that foul duplicity which festers within the city. For this feat, your order granted me certain liberties. Liberties whose sheen has gone dim with age. Return the Chrysom Orb to me, and I'll provide you entrance into that vulgar place. Sure, here you go. To have been separated so long. Yep, he's having, he's having some kinky moments with that orb, that's fine. The Chrysom Orb floats before his the mass of twisted limbs, he examines it closely. Atrophy has occurred in absence. A duration is required to enliven the orb again. The way will unfold when ready. Probably we need to do something else and then find the third relic and then the orb is gonna be ready. With a disregarded emotion, the mass flicks his hand as Shadow Paul moves quickly, enveloping first your feet, then your hips and your chest before you can breathe your entire body is submerged into darkness. Be mindful of your strength. Will do, Mentes. Oh, I'm sleeping like a baby. Let's go. Probably was carried what here by Galena. We strike a deal and refrain from having any more bedside conversations in the near future. How about you? You give me the title of a knight already. Despite a glimpse of pain as he laughs, he gives you a friendly wink. Yo, Lawrence, you're awake! And from what I hear, that's due only to your valiant efforts, knight to be. Yes, you, you mean knight, you little Truth. shit. Ah, yes. <laughs> Forgive me slipping into old comforts. You've earned that title and more, knight. And now you're gonna try to be like, no, what do you mean? You just were, listen, with the vein that you just showed, you don't say Galena, don't be humble now. You did a lot of work! To think you both should have to extend yourself such on my behalf. Shut up, Lawrence. 
Smile moves across his face. You feel there's much effort behind that. And yet it seems, despite everything, your sense of impeccable timing persists. <laughs> what work do you have for me, man? The Star Spire Festival has begun. A celebration with food and games waits just beyond our doorstep. Okay, let's go. Oh, let's let. That is a hill to summit another day. I will heed no questions until you thoroughly enjoyed the festival. You better give me something good, man. A storm is brewing. Yes. But though they cannot name it, the people of Starspire feel it too. So they gather around what levity lingers, surround what candles still produce light. We should honor their wishes, Knight. Often it is the people who know most what they need. I get it. Should relaxing be too strict an order for you, uh, seek out Steadston, the lamplighter, along Starspire's lower terrace. I hear he's been put in charge of preparing the firework display, and I would very much like to avoid igniting another part of our town. Hmm? Sure. Wander and get lost a little. Now is the time to truly appreciate what we have here in Star Spire. Sounds good. The Festival of the Spire. I mean, I guess it shouldn't be too difficult. Maybe he'll tell me Wanda something else. And nope. Just wanted to make sure. And then Galinda is not here. Just always verify that you didn't miss on anything. If you didn't, you are good. And then we can just get out. Open the door, maybe? Nope. And now that I'm a knight, maybe I can speak with the lady. Who knows?